Hello and welcome back to Planet Zoo, to our franchise zoo filled with lemurs that are permanently mating and pangolins that are never mating, or at least never getting pregnant. And people who are too stupid to pick up trash. Perfect combination. So last time we got ourselves a little info stall over here. We took a look at our increasing lemur population. Uh, I placed some more trees and flowers. And I bought one pangolin, but now I need a female. And they're still really overpriced. <laughs> so this store here obviously goes by like real people selling stuff, so people are charging a lot. And pangolins are just expensive. We also have Mahiri here, one of our lemurs that we got in our own zoo, whom I might trade or release into the wild at some point. Currently got an inspector going around. Let's see what they have to say. Uh, by the way, I'm currently just trying to save up some money in case anyone's wondering about why I'm like not getting habitat. I really like to go and like after the first habitat I've put, save up money for the next one so that I can go and buy high quality animals rather than like more really really cheap so that's why i'm not getting any new ones oh oh someone killed the bark bench don't 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 kill the bench yep but can i see what the inspector had to say no <laughs> no no okay i guess I mean, the inspector didn't close the zoo, so it's <laughs> gonna be okay. Yeah, so at the moment I'm mostly waiting for the lemurs to age up. And for the guys here too. Oh, they're not gonna have offspring, so... I'm just waiting for them to reach the end of their lifespan. I mean, they're already elderly. Not gonna live past like. No. Once they're all grown up, uh, <laughs> and once they're dead, we're gonna get new. Pangolins, and hopefully find a decent female. Oh, no. like she's not bad, but she's not like her longevity isn't that high. Ah, uh, oh, for it. Gonna buy this one. Yeah, because our pangolins are not getting like no matter what we're going to do, they're not going to. They just have the lowest rate in the world. Let's let's reset that to the pangolin because we don't need an additional anything for our lemurs. So many lemurs. I've already had to put the babies on but so many male babies. Where are the other females? Um, here's the issue it. Got you. Hey. No? Okay. For them to... I can only like have one male for your group, but loads of female. A lot of female offspring. And then keep all the female offspring. But a really, really good male. I might just buy a bunch of females. I don't know. But yeah, usually I try to keep all the females and buy one good male because it's cheaper in total. But if we only get one female, no. Slightly different, uh. Article. How are all our visitors? Drink. I think I could jack on my shoes. Okay. A lot of damaged things are there. Who could do with expanding? And we apparently don't have enough bins. There's nothing broken. Um. 
probably get another caretaker. But it's growing trash on the ground. It's not like I don't have bins. In fact, I have like all the bins. I love how they just like snap themselves into the corners. But, like there's so many bins here, people just don't use them. Go and replace these with classic bins. For uh, the looks. The real reason I just find the classic bins to look better. Well, I'd also consider getting another habitat after this. So I wanted to do like a small petting zoo area. I'm going to do, and uh, a friend. That's also those are going to be the petting area. And someone else requested snow animals. So I'm not doing the polar bear. <laughs> I'm not doing that one. But I was thinking about doing a snow leopard if I can afford them. Because they're actually really, really cool in this game. I love how they now have like seasonal mates. Like, is that new? Is that just like additional information but it, it's not real? Forest. It also looks like it's the only. I know that they reworked it. Yeah, I was not. But yeah, it seems like those are the only animals that have this um obvious or uh, you know system of. Seasonal mating? Cool. Unknown. Unknown. Unknown is always good. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Will the others have uh, normal mating systems even if they are animals that typically have seasonal mating? Ah. Oh. This is also new. This whole like. Males have multiple female mates, females have one thing. That makes sense if you only, like, you can only have one male anyways. Oh, I really want to expand the habitat for the pangolins, it's so small. Actually, why shouldn't we do that? No. Let's uh, make this an episode of reworking the pangolin habitat. Something a little... Uh... Wait, let's do the other way around. Just leave the door. We can delete everything except for the door. And the game's just gonna be totally fine with it. Okay. Go around it with a rough null barrier for now. Okay, let's not do that because... Irritate. Can I use this? Probably. This is definitely not the easiest way to do a habitat build. Not completely. Is it straight? It's mostly straight. Yeah, it looks fine. I'm just gonna go grab the. It's also going to make the habitat more bad because the animals are shy. But I'm going to go and give them like a big area in the back where they can hide. Oh, I want the habitat to be longer. I mean, why not? Our thing is, you always only have two pangolins. But uh, here's, here's the fun fact here, right? I look into the Zoopedia. There are no animals that will match with a pangolin. However, there is another animal that lives in Asian temperate and has pretty much the same requirements, which is this little lad here. So we're actually gonna probably add red pandas to this. Hello, it's future me again. So 
I decided to speed up the whole build because first I thought it wouldn't take long and then I decided to build this huge mansion with way too much decoration. So it did take long after all. And uh, yeah, also sorry about the fact that you can somehow hear me slamming my keyboard really hard. Apparently my microphone was feeling happy today. Anyways, uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the build. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys again later. Bye.
really don't like this tree. Go away, yeah. Better. No, you know what? I think it looks cool. I think it's a great habitat. It's not necessarily what you'd think of when you think habitat for Chinese pangolins, but I think it's Oh, it like undid the habitat for a second. I'm just gonna re habitat thing, make sure it's set up and recognize. So, to get in no viewing monitors over here. Yeah. I'd uh, really appreciate some feedback. Do you guys like it when I make huge, unrealistic, weird builds? <laughs> There. Yeah, what do you think about putting um, Chinese pandas, F Chinese pandas, giant pandas in here? Because it is the, the best kind of habitat for them, I think. Might be able to utilize some of this building as climbing space if we set it up right. And uh, I think it would be better than just having two Chinese lemurs in here. Chinese lemurs. <laughs> <laughs> two Chinese pangolins. Let me take it. Makes you think that it's not from a game about animals. Oh yeah, no, no, wait, wait. There's, there's a tiny bit of the, of the. No, 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 no. <laughs> Nvidia, stop. There's a tiny bit of the screen uh, of the education board in it. I don't want that. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm gonna cut this episode up. I don't know how long it's actually gonna be, but it's like 40 minutes of material, so hopefully not gonna be a, a really, really long episode. But uh, we finally have an acceptable habitat for our Chinese pangolins. That's not tiny, very since it is thing. Do you think we should also rebuild the lemur habitat into like this sort of idea? Like obviously we're limited to these plants, but we could probably make it work. I don't know, but either way, that's uh, the questions for the comment section. I hope you liked the video and I hope I'll see you again soon.